Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim. I'm going to be doing your past life reading um, for the period of 1st to the 17th of June 2018. And this is one of your last incarnations that's coming through, or past incarnation, that's going to affect your relationship or a situation around um, someone you're involved with. Now, I have picked a card from the past life deck and it is bringing up the card of phobias. So what this is telling me is that... Um, you're trying to put the puzzle, pieces of the puzzle together of how you're feeling uh, phobic. Uh, maybe you, you've you sort of um, have a lot of fears from the past and you're trying to pinpoint, you know, where this is coming from. So um, maybe you're trying to connect the dots between your lifetime now to your past life. Now, this could be um, something that you're remembering remembering through your dreams um but you're not getting the whole picture of it so with these fears they are creating energy blocks so you can't move forward so you need to to release them uh, maybe through meditation if you can go to youtube and do some uh, meditations to release old um, fears and phobias um there's plenty of their uh the um, professional ones on YouTube that you you can um, meditate through and release these energies. Now, maybe um, your unconscious mind or your higher self knows what these phobias are, but um, when you wake in the mor morning, you're not feeling, you know, a bit more confused and that kind of thing. So you need to conf um, confront these fears. Now, I have pulled 11 cards from the Lenormand deck and the first card is going to describe what you look like back in this incarnation and it is the house. So it is telling me you definitely were a male. You were head of the home. Um, you were pear-shaped, very solid and had broad shoulders and when you walked, you walked with a bit of a thud. So you were very hard on your feet. Now, a different masculine energy and your past location where you lived was in Ireland or Scotland. It's not telling me the country, but uh, somewhere of that uh, descent. Now, your past life personality that's coming through is the moon. So uh, this is telling me very intuitive, um, very emotional, but very um, sensual and romantic. So you had, you know, you were very emotional around people. So you know, easily um, able to cry at anything at the drop of a hat, and I can relate to that, um, being an Aries, so I'm very emotional. Now, um, the past life and current relationship, so this is the relationship that you may have carried forward in this life or you're yet to, to meet, and you have the book here. So this is telling me um, this is a person that you kept secret in your past incarnation. So maybe that's where the phobia is... Um, coming from uh, maybe you could have worked as a nun or that kind of thing and um, back in those days you weren't meant to have a partner so maybe that's uh, one scenario that's playing out here but this person definitely was kept a secret they were someone with a lot of knowledge they could have been religious but a bit introverted um, here Libra now, your past life purpose, this is what your soul's purpose was in your old life. And it was the anchor. And um, it was about um, you working as maybe um, on the Navy dock where you unloaded ships or um, put supplies back on the ship and looked after the passengers that were um, getting aboard. But it was about security and... Um, and it was the hard work for you. And this is why you had the broad shoulders, I would imagine. Now, um, your past life passion, what you loved about your old life was a Caucasian, fair-looking woman, uh, very feminine, very petite, uh, very quiet, quietly spoken. And uh, you loved this person very dearly. Now, it's not telling me whether... Um, well, actually, you kept this person a secret. So um, for some of you, maybe you worked on the dock. For some of you, you maybe worked as a priest or 
that type of thing was where you weren't able to have um, a partner. Now, your past life death of how you passed away was through um, a situation of a man. And this was a, a Caucasian man. So I just want to pull some clarifier cards here with um, the Lenormand cards and see if I can get some more detail from this because it's only telling me it was a male that was involved in your death. Um, so if I can get some clarification on this. They were an older, older man with a lot of knowledge. Um, very wise person. So, uh, hmm. okay. Now... The whip's coming through, so you could have been beaten to death here repetitively or it could have been a weapon that was used, but this is how you passed over. Now, with um, the life lesson that you, you learnt from your old life is the fox here, Libra, and this is to be uh, not to be deceitful and cunning. This is a life lesson that you have to learn from your old life now your unresolved um, issues from the past is what's um, worrying you and what you fear your concerns about um, stars is about reaching your goals so you're concerned about that in this lifetime now what your present life purpose is what you need to accomplish in this lifetime Libra is uh, the scythe so this is learning how to cut off um, what no longer serves you, whether it's a situation or a person, and harvesting what does uh, serve you, making quick decisions and not being so um, harsh with your words as well. Now, your advice from your old self to your new self or to your new life is the crossroads, and this is about making the right choices and staying faithful in a relationship. Now, I have picked a card uh, well, a couple of cards fill out from the Romance Angel deck. And we've got the Worth Waiting For card and a new love. So this is possibly the person from your past that was kept a secret. It's telling me the universe is working in your favour at the moment. Uh, or you may have already met this person and they've stirred up your romantic feelings. So you may be feeling a little bit giddy in the tummy, feeling like back as a youngster or a teenager again, that type of um, feeling. But someone definitely has stirred up your romantic feelings. So it could be this person from the past um, that you had to keep a secret about. Now I want to pull a clarify card from the Animal Tarot deck and see if we get some more uh, added messages to the story. Okay. And we have the Eight of Winter, which is the bunting bird. And there's four people in this picture here. Um, it's telling me it's so easy to convince yourself that you're trapped when you're really not. So you just have to trust that God will lift you to new heights and give you greater self-confidence. So maybe your self-confidence is lacking and um, you, you need to affirm your freedom. So basically you're holding yourself back from moving forward here. The other birds have... Um, come out of the cage but you're halfway there contemplating whether to do it and procrastinating so um it's telling you you're the one that's holding yourself back here now i just want to pull a card from the archangel and gemstone cards and see what message it is for you okay so it's the watermelon tourmaline so this is asking you libra are you looking for romance do you need more attention and affection? And um, like I said in the past, you had that kind of personality where um, you were very affectionate and uh, romantic. And um, it's time to nurture yourself and treat yourself the way you want others to treat you. So this is a good time to rev up your self-acceptance and increase your willingness to allow more love in your life. Now, this uh, message came through from Archangel Shamuel, and they're asking you to say an affirmation so you're able to bring this person into your life. My heart is open to giving and receiving love. Now, this is the highest energy of all is love. So the more you give, the more you'll receive in return. I transform the world around me through focusing my energy 
and intentions on divine love. Every word I say and every thought I think travel on the frequency of love. So that's a beautiful message coming through. You do have a new love coming through. The divine is working in your uh, favor as we speak. And um, this person is worth waiting for. Now, this is someone that you had in the past incarnation that you have kept quiet with, but you had very fond feelings for this person and you wanted to be secure with them. You wanted that um, long-term goals and uh, security with the anchor here. But, um, yeah, you just need to um, think positive and uh, remember to meditate to get rid of the phobias that's holding you back from the past. And then once that's released, this new person will come through if they haven't already. But, um, you know, you need to, to implement um, and take action and make the right choices here, Libra. So I hope this has helped for the period of the 1st and 17th of June. I want to wish everyone a great weekend and love and blessings to you all. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.